everyone! Welcome to Cooking Curves Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to trigger if applets using JavaScript. So right here I have a little button. I'm going to push it. And it seems like nothing happened. But if you wait a few seconds, I just got a notification from ift telling me that my applet was triggered. And no, it doesn't have to just send you a notification. It can do anything that ift can do. So. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. Alright, so get started. Pop open your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. And you're going to need to have the link to jQuery copied. And in a little bit, we're going to also copy a link from ift, but not yet. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a doc type tag. Exclamation mark, doc type, HTML. Next, open a script tag, script src equals open quotes and paste in the link to jQuery. Close quotes and close your script tag. Next, open up another script tag, script. Now create a function, function trigger ift, or whatever you want to call it, I'm just going to call it trigger ift, open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly braces, dollar sign, dot, ajax, to make a get request, do ift servers, open parentheses, open curly braces, url, colon, open and close quotes, and for now, we're just going to leave that blank, we will fill that in in a little bit. Comma. Success. Spelled that wrong. Colon. Function. Open parentheses. Result. Open curly braces. Alert. Open parentheses. Result, close parentheses, close curly braces, and finally, close curly braces again, and close parentheses, and down here, close those curly braces again. Now, here's the thing. Even though it says that it will alert the result, it actually won't alert anything, and I'm not sure why. But I think it's because the result is just nothing. But you need to have it do something on success, or at least think it's doing something. Otherwise, it won't work. So, close the script tag. And make a button tag. And, of course, on click equals, open quotes, trigger, Ift, open parentheses, close parentheses, close quotes, and inside the button tag, I'm going to type trigger ift, and close the button tag. Now right now this file won't really do anything, but we're going to save it anyway. I'm going to call it trigger ift.html save it. Now, let's go make our applet. So, pop open your browser. Ooh, software update. I'll install that. Okay, now pop open your browser, and we're just going to go to ift.com, and here we are. Just going to ignore all this. Going to go to my applets. Click on services. Now, down here, we're going to be using the webhook service, which is right there. So let's click on it. And there's a couple things we're going to do. 
First, we're going to click on Documentation and open it in a new tab. And now we're going to go back and we're going to make a new applet by just, where's that button? Clicking on the new applet button right there. Now, if this, we're going to search for webhooks. There it is. Click on receive a web request. And now you need an event name. And it doesn't really matter what your event name is. I'm going to call it, don't use caps, trigger if create trigger. Oops. Yeah, create trigger. Then that, I'm not going to have it do anything all that special. I'm just going to have it send a notification. Send a notification from the ift app. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Create action. OK. Now, let's finish. There we go. So now we have our applet right here, and it says that it has never run. So we're going to pop over here to Maker Webhooks, and we're going to copy this link right here, Control C, go over to our text editor, paste it in between the quotes, and you see right here where it says event in curly braces? Delete that and replace it with trigger if or whatever you called your event over there. So, save that file. Open a new tab in your browser. So many new tabs. I'm just going to move this over here for now. Find the file on your computer. Here it is. Drag it into the new tab. Now, first I'm going to Switch over to QuickTime Player so that I can move this back here where you can see it. And now I'm going to push the button. And we wait. Oh, look at that! I just got a notification. See, sometimes it takes longer than other times, but eventually it happens, and that wasn't too bad of a wait. So, that's how you do that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch. And remember, they're actually trying to sell you a shirt.